for the full tutorial of the song and more than 200 tutorials, tabs and chords, please visit my shop. It's here in the description below. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna learn the intro of Change the World by Eric Clapton, a great song that I really like and I played many, many times in my life. And during the years, I always improved the, in step-by-step step the intro. So I, I got to this conclusion now and I want to uh, teach you this. Um, there are many tutorials and performances for this song and uh, but I haven't found one that combines all the five instruments that plays in this intro. I think there are five instruments, uh, at least. Uh, a lead guitar, a rhythm guitar, a bass guitar, a keyboard, and drums. So we're going to see all them combined together for one guitar arrangement. Uh, so let's start and see what's going on there. So it's standard tuning, and we start with E chord, and ooh, the bass, and then 4 and 3. But you get inside the E with hammer on on the third string, okay? And then you have a chuck. Now, the chuck is not a regular chuck, which is all over the strings. It's a thumb chuck. It's just over the sixth or fifth string, and this is this kind of movement you do, and you stay really close, you don't go like this. And this is it's the same sound, you see? But the thing is, with the, in the thumb chuck, everything continues rings because you don't block all the strings. Because, you see, it's still ringing instead of that you kill everything. So, this is very important. Um, so, we do the thumb chuck here. So, and after the chuck, we do another bass. So, this is the first chord. And then we go to A9 over F sharp which I do it in this way, uh, index finger on the 6th string 2nd fret to get the F sharp. You can do it with thumb if you prefer. 4th um, string 2nd fret and 3rd string 2nd fret together, 6, 4 and 3 together. And another thumb chuck. And then we get inside the 3rd chord which is G. I do it with the thumb, again you can do it with any finger you want, but the thumb on the 6th string 3rd fret on the G and 4, 3, and 2 together and after this I'm catching the harmonic here this is like a, when you catch it on the 7th fret harmonics like a, you know this you know you can do it on the 5 on the 7 and on the 12 12 is the most popular one and of, of course there are the 7 but the 7th it's like the 19th it's the same right? sounds the same so I'm gonna catch it here because I don't want to it, if you see the full tutorial, you'll see that I did this this way. I, I caught it here with the pinky on the 7th fret and I stretch myself, but I don't like to stretch too much. So I tend to do this and instead of the stretching, I just hit the note on the 19th fret. Now you're not going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 until 9. So you just have to find out where is your 19th fret. It, it will probably be at the end of your guitar. I know in my tello that I have the 20th fret here and the 19th is one before, so I do it on the iron itself, a little nudge. You can try and practice on the 12th fret and after a while when you get the feel, try it here. You all just need the 5th uh, string, 19th fret. It's important when you do the thumb beer, don't block the 5th string, because so, it, it has to be open to get, unless it, if it won't be open, if I block it, it nothing will happen also here. Okay. So after this, you have a chuck with the thumb and bass. You do it slow. And after the bass, you have brush, like brush up the fingers on one, two, three, let's say, which are open. And so. Now you have 
you have to do another chuck. So you can do another chuck with the thumb, or maybe as I do it, I do again this uh, harmonic. Because if you hear the song, I'll just sing it in my mouth. The bass does. This is the bass uh, part. So you do it twice. Along with the second chuck. So you can also do this because it also makes the feeling of the chuck. Okay, so after this, we'll, second time we continue, we stay in, in this position and we add the pinky or the ring finger or the fifth swing, fifth fret, I tend to do it with the pinky, and middle finger uh, on the third string, fourth fret. So we have bass of six and five and three together. Don't, you can touch the fourth string, but it's supposed to be five and three together. And thumb chuck, another bass of G, okay. and then get to this position, which is part of F minor, F minor, but we do it this way. Thumb here on the second fret, second uh, sixth string. The pinky goes down to fifth string, fourth fret, and now the index finger is on the third string, second fret. So six, five, and two together. thumb chuck and get inside the E again with this hammer on the on the third string so sorry like this so after this when you get inside six uh, four and three together with this hammer on you uh, let's see you do five four and three on the E and this hammer on then just the bass. Okay, so after this you have brush up the index finger, thumb chuck and second string and sixth string really fast. So it will be and then after this you have the, now the keyboard gets inside the song. This is a keyboard uh, part. So how we do this? Uh, middle finger, third string, second fret. Index um, and ring finger, first string, second fret. And we slide them very fast to the fourth fret. This is like a country movement of a uh, lead guitar, right? So slide it here and very short one. Go back to the second fret of this position on first and, and third string, and now the second string with the index finger from first fret, slide it very fast to the second fret. Now this note is not a regular one. This is a second uh, kind of chuck we're gonna meet, a, a knock with a note. So, so how we do this? Um, never mind which finger you can do it with index, ring, or middle. But you have to chuck with the thumb, but also with the finger on the string that you want. In this case, on the second string. And you hit the, with the fingernail to get the chuck note. You don't try, you can't do it with the, because when you land like this, you just have to hit the fingernail. You don't have this part. So Now the thing is that it, you, you need to be accurate with where you hit, but also you can help yourself by do two things. One, when you land also with the thumb, not just don't just land on the sixth string in this case because I need the second string to ring, but I don't need the six, five, four, and three, right? So I can block them with the thumb while doing this. So no danger that I'm gonna hit this note because they are blocked with the thumb, and I don't also I don't want the first string to ring. So this I do with the left hand. I do the second string that I want, but I also. You see, I block with this finger, I don't do it like this, I block it, the first string. So the only uh, note that, that is available now is the second string. So you just have to be around it somewhere in the knocks and you won't miss it. So, you see, no problem, I just hit it and it didn't even try because I block six, five, four, and three, and I block also one with the left hand. So you just can practice, you can take a, a pentatonic scale, it's called F sharp uh, minor. And you can try just to hit a chuck, a note with a note. 
and do exactly what I said, like uh, uh, close everything that you don't need and also here on the bottom side. And you can just try this and uh, after a while you get the point and you can use it in other songs. Okay, so... So after this, not with a knock, you brush up the first string, open first string. And you start the second round and go again to the bass of six. Now you do again four and three and hammer on this. And now open second string with a knock with a note like I just showed with the with the fingernail, which is open second string. And now you attack on the way up after this, on the way up you catch the third string second fret with the middle finger here. After this you do the bass of F sharp here with the index finger. So you have to, these two fingers. And open fourth string. And then you have another uh, knock with a note on the second string, third fret now with the pinky. You can do it with the ring finger, but I think the pinky is better for this. And after this, you slide the middle finger from third fret, uh, from, from second fret to fourth fret. So after the slide, you go to the bass of G. So you also slide the index finger to the third fret now. So after this, bass of G, open fourth string and the chuck. So after this chuck, you leave the position and you do harmonic here on the 12th fret of 1st and 2nd string. You can also do a little shake here, like hold this part of the body and shake it from the keys. Or from here, never mind. Like me, if you have time. <laughs> And chuck, thumb chuck, and now fifth string, seventh fret, which is like the first note that I just did like this, but now I do it like this, like this harmonic on the seventh fret iron. Okay? And while doing all this, keep everything open, don't do a full chuck. Just a thumb chuck, I want everything to keep ringing. And then you finish the riff with. So what's going on here? So after this, you get inside this G with these two fingers, index finger 6th string 3rd fret, and middle finger 3rd string 4th fret, and you slide it to this position, and you do 6, 4, and 3 together, thumb chuck, see? You can do the bass and then just 4 and 3 together. And you slide the middle finger to the second fret and pull off to open third string. So like this, or up down. Maybe never mind. And it's okay when you do the pull off to touch the second string on the way down. It's perfectly fine. And get inside the A9 over F sharp like we did in the first position. So 6, 4 and 3 on the 2nd fret. And open 3rd string. You just lift the ring finger from there. And you can also lift all the position if you want. Open 3rd string. And then 4th string. Which is a knock with a note. So 4th string with a knock. Uh, second fret, pull off to open fourth string, and get in the last position, which is some kind of B sus4. I do it with this kind of uh, bar here on the fifth, fourth, and third string, second fret, and the pinky on the fourth string, fourth fret, and I do five and four with the thumb, 
and the index finger brush up everything. Of course, you can do just everything down, but I think the best way is this way. This is the best way I'm doing. So five and three with the thumb and brush up one, two, three. So you get all the notes. So this, you have another chuck, now it's time for chuck. And the last riff is fifth, open fifth string. You can just take the, the string out to get this. So open fifth string, hammer on the second fret with the middle finger, open fourth string, and finish on sixth string, open, which start the song. So last part is... Yeah, and this is basically all the intro. Now I'll do everything really slow from start. This is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you very very soon with a new arrangement or tutorial, who knows. So bye bye for now.